Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see introduction to information protection and data lifecycle management in Microsoft Purview. Well, we all know that data is exploding. In past many years, you have been creating data, you have been storing and sharing data everywhere, right? So IDC estimates that in 2025, the world will create and replicate 163 zettabytes of data, representing a tenfold increase from the amount of data created in 2016. Okay, so one zettabyte is equal to 10 lakhs petabytes if you want to calculate right so not not only the amount of data is increasing the regulation is also increasing right the number of regulation organization uh, that are increasing must comply with the continuous growth growth of the data okay because they would include the maintenance and protection of personal data in one area where there has been much focus and the fines that these uh, privacy regulations have when you are non-compliant okay or, or if you are not complying or there are withdrawal of licenses and lower credibility with regulators and customers we all know that discovering and managing data is challenging many organizations are struggling with managing their data and there have been researches that tells us most organizations don't have the information to understand the risk they face. So protecting data has become more challenging as people work in new ways, including creating and sharing data across organizational or regional boundaries. We need to protect our sensitive information on devices, software uh, as a service applications and cloud services. And then there is an addition of to on-premise environments there are profiles uh, the risk profile is likely to increase without an information protection and governance strategy so this is very huge all right then you have to define an information and protection strategy so if you would ask with your team members or if you are part of that team then uh, you would have these points to discuss that does your organization have a strategy to detect manage and protect sensitive information across your digital estate so if if you are a solutions company one of the first questions the customer would ask when discussing information protection and governance goes something like how can i implement a strategy for protecting and managing sensitive information Okay, so if you ask many of the technical architects who have been working on these things, they would not have the perfect answer to it, right? So, some of the common questions that uh, when talking with the customers about this subject are, when, when the solution company that is trying to implement the strategy to protect and manage the sensitive information, they ask the customers do you know where your business critical and sensitive data reside and what is being done with it or do you have control of this data as it travels in sites and uh, outside your organizations are you using multiple solutions to classify label and protect sensitive data these are the primary questions that companies ask and the points that you have to be very sure of is that you have to protect and govern data wherever it lives so microsoft offers integrated information protection and governance solutions to help you protect and govern your data throughout its life cycle wherever it lives and whenever wherever it travels it isn't just about the data in microsoft 365 services like exchange online okay or the on-premise or the office 365 apps sensitive data also resides in the data visualization tools your power bi okay your organization might also use non microsoft clouds like dropbox or this other saas applications right and you your data 
might be resigning on all of them who knows that that you are using all of this stuff in totality right you need a unified approach to data discovery and classification so microsoft is taking a unified approach to the discovery and classification of data this approach covers various services such as microsoft 365 productivity apps the power platform non microsoft cloud services and apps it also includes data stored on the on premise as well so unified approach would have consistent classification of data across devices apps and services strong integration into the application and services deep content scanning with more than 90 built in sensitive information types fully extensible scanning with support for custom sensitive information types and trainable classifiers all right and this would make sure that you have and this would make sure that you have the balance security and productivity so as a consultant architect or the solution consultant product consultant data consultant or the team you must strike a balance in the organization's interest in security with your workforce desire for mobility and productivity so the capabilities uh tip the security side of the scale would be to enforce conditional access for sensitive data dlp actions to block sharing file and email encryption based on sensitivity label prevent data leakage through dlp policies business data separation on devices secure email with encryption and permissions okay so if i would have to show you here it is so if you want to balance the data security and productivity you have to to secure the data you have enforced conditional access to sensitive data to enable the productivity you would have manually apply a sensitive label consistently across apps applications and endpoints the lp action to block sharing the show recommendation and tool tips for sensitivity labels with auto labeling and dlp same way it goes with encryption dlp policies for data leakage business data separation secure email with encryption and permissions then you have have to have the information protection and governance life cycle okay so the implementing an information and governance solution for the organization is a journey and every organization takes a different approach and whatever approach you choose it involves people process and technology right so the information protection governance life cycle involves many potential stakeholders okay there are ceos there are compliance officers data admin data owner help desk information worker and then there are process right from from a process perspective major phases that one should follow for a successful implementation is the define the data uh, classification taxonomy so if i would have to mention it define classification policy conditions create test and deploy the labels and policy settings and ongoing usage monitoring and remediation this is the process that will be followed and if you ask about the tools or the relationship between the the people that are involved like ceo compliance office data admin and how would the process is aligned or a one to one mapping is done is like this so ceo would be there to define classification scheme your compliance office data admin would be there to define all classification policy conditions your data owner would be to create test and deploy classification policy and then your help desk and the the information worker would have the ongoing usage monitoring and remediation right and lastly there is technology now technology would be that you have to partner with the right solutions to meet your needs 
right and throughout this course we will explore the unique capabilities microsoft delivers to meet the data classification information protection and data life cycle management requirements okay first you have to know your data you have to protect your data and then you will have to prevent data loss and then you have to govern that okay so microsoft approach to information protection and governance is centered around four principles you have to know your data protect your data prevent data loss and govern your data okay you have to first of all understand your data landscape and identify important data across your hybrid environment then you have to protect your data apply flexible protection actions including encryption access restrictions and visual markings then you will have to prevent data loss detect risky behavior and prevent accidental oversharing of sensitive information and then you have to govern it automatically retain delete and store data and records in a compliant manner okay now if you if you want to go in that directions right you will have to work on the different parts so if we work on uh selectively work on knowing the data uh, protecting the data preventing data loss and govern your data will cover these topics separately now okay so from the next Uh, video i will show you i will discuss about first of all knowing your data and then protecting it how do you prevent data loss how do you govern it okay i'll try to do the lab as well but then i will cover the theory part of it as well because you have to understand the concepts that are used in sc400 okay i hope this video was informative for all of you guys if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day